left off last time we are back with the uh the playthrough of the bounty hunter public enemy chapter three content on uh contact on boss revealed that the target on boss would be Polonia redrish a Kwati noble awarded the military rank of general for resistance efforts against the empire during the great war stuff 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 words 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 and boom we are back in we've got mako as our companion here what the michispa you want me to be we've been uh <laughs> resting up for that experience for quite a while now but we're out here so imperial district where do we need to go for this this one actually it's all the way up there so it might be the pirate retreat might be the best or pilgrim i mean i like how they include your name uh for like that loading screen thing yeah yeah that's pretty cool all right so i got kicked out of my guild that's okay um actually whoever is the first person the toddler too Got a Discord. Nice. I'll take that EXP bonus. Don't tell them. I'm just joining the EXP bonus. Famous. Hey. Many members of your guild are on your planet, but I don't know if you want to shuttle there. Sure. Well, that's true. I did say it on Voss. So I should think about that. <laughs> nice. Not bad. Cool. So am I famous now? <clears throat> so making my way downtown to speak with Chajam Doohu The Roster Mercenary there's a lot of assassins and the other things. Probably have to get off in like an hour. Um, so we'll see because I need a shower before tonight and stuff and get ready. Yeah, no. Questions, feel free to add some Discord info is in the gen info. Welcome to Famous. <laughs> so, am I famous? A 
outsider. My master saw your coming. He awaits in the Cloister of Meditation. Who do I have to thank for the warm welcome? Dokoth Ra, the Elder. You will see him. Dokoth Ra. He's been waiting this long. He can wait as you will. Cloister of Meditation. Okay. We shall go see this man. This is me talking within the, uh, the Mandalorian helmet right now. Come in, come in. Hello, chat. We are talking through the Mandalorian helmet right now. This probably sounds so bad, so let me see. Is there a different one? That one sounds a little bit better. <laughs> uh, I know there's one in here somewhere. Hello, testing. I know there's a good one. Aha! There we go. Welcome aboard, everybody. Today we are traveling through Voss. And, uh, yeah. Oh, this one is weird. I mean, it sounds pretty good in, in my uh, headset, to be honest. Like, I hear myself... Almost as if it was, uh, you know, surround sound. Oh my god. <laughs> this is probably what it sounds like when you're inside of the, uh, the helmet. What number is this? This is 18. 18 is... Chorus number two. Hold on. 17. Alright, now we are at 17. 16. 15. Interesting. Uh, what is this? 14? Karaoke. Vocal echo. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Delay. Hello? All right. I'm not going to really uh, do anything else. Let me turn that off. Pilgrims are so few now. Sorry. I don't really, I, I feel like sometimes I don't touch my mixer enough as I should. They There's so many options on there, me. I just don't like use them I know a lot. You're coming. Change has come to Voss. Voss must come to change. The outsider woman you seek. Voss must come to change. change. <laughs> 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 my alarm's going off. Is she planning my, uh... something? She believes coexistence with the Gormak is possible. But someone must give voice to it. Um, you I buy one. That voice <laughs> Basically. Hers. You will not silence it. A mixer is a thing. It's hey, another piece is? of gear. You guys aren't supposed to be taking sides. Uh, hey. Stay in oh. peace and leave in time. No harm will come. I guess Alexa thought I said something. Um, it's basically so like when you have a microphone like an XLR. It's a special kind of cable, and the only way that you can use it is by having like a, um, you need another piece of hardware, which can either be a mixer or like a, uh, I forget what the other one's called. There's like the, the solo one that you can get. Um, but then the mixer I have is USB, so it's essentially like plugging the mixer into the computer and then it uses the audio i can send audio to the mixer and then my headset is plugged into the mixer you break your um, neutrality you regret it we are and same thing with uh force. the audio Australia. from my computer goes into the mixer so i can hear myself and i hear the uh everything going through the mixer too
My gift is not forced. Yo, Logan. But I see Hello there. Is not Thanks for, for uh, stopping by. I hope you have a good weekend as well and, and uh, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, my friend. Where are you hiding, General Redrish? The human woman has gone. I just want voices for playthroughs. for Gomacos. Our hope goes with her. She can't have gone far. I do not know her journey's path. Commanders stand vigil over Gormakos. Their commander may witness the outsider's passing. Thanks for the information. No hard feelings. A fool curses fate. Go in peace. Okay, so speak to the boss commander. He's all the way over there, so I'm gonna go down here. I've been wanting to make a, uh, uh, Republic character for a while now, to be honest. So I might, I might. We also need to finish. See, I just, I want to go back to Yakuza when I like kind of feel more like it. Right now, I don't know. I mean, like if I played it, I know I would get into it. But I just, I'm afraid I'm like, a little burnt out after playing the first one all right three and then go into four but they are a great game i don't know i haven't fully decided yet i'm still on a huge star wars uh uh binge right now like my life well not really but this week has been less but <laughs> replaying uh last game was worth it though that was a lot of fun Oh, wait, is that? Oh, there's 46 people on boss. Not, not in the guild. <laughs> okay. Speak to the boss person. What is the guild? That's the guild. Only unlock guild ship with 15% XP, 5 to 11 p.m. EST. Ooh, these guys are cool so far. I wonder what the, uh, the other ones are called. I might join their Discord. Because why not, eh? Eh? Why not? Voss is a really cool planet. I've been wanting to completely off topic, but I have a few like other first person shooter games that I've been wanting to play for a while now too. Um, one of them being i would like to play through the the series of um hold on is it through here is it warrior phase no oh it's up top okay i see um i've been wanting to play through 
the Sniper Elite series. Not Sniper Elite. Um, well, yeah, Sniper Elite as well. But more of... Uh, I've been wanting to play through the... Uh, Sniper Warrior seri series. So you have Sniper Warrior... What is it? Like, there's another word in it. Is it like Ghost Sniper Warrior? Ghost Warrior Sniper? Something like... Dude, I can't remember. Why am I blanking now? Sniper... Not Sniper Elite. What is it? Sniper... Okay, Sniper Ghost Warrior. Yeah, I have the first one, the second, the third, and Contracts. Um, and they all have pretty good, like, reviews and stuff. Totally not Star Wars related, but I've been thinking about this game recently. Damn, that's messed up. <laughs> but, I don't know, it would be fun. Um, just like, stealth and pop, pop, you know, you know, pop. Um, that kind of stuff. I've been thinking about it, but I don't know when yet. There's also another game that I have that's like a, I can't tell if it's a first person or a third person game, but it's called Rogue Warrior. It's an older game, um, 2013 or something like that. A few years old. How's Merc? Merc's okay. Um, it's, it's good. I'd say I, I haven't played like this character in a long time. Um, so it's, it's not bad. I like that how you have the, um, right now I'm DPS, but I like how you have the option between, uh, healing and this as well. Not sure what the level getting back into it. I hear that. <laughs> That's me too. See, my thing is I wanted to replay the story and the previous, uh, like bounty hunter I made was a power, uh, power hunter. So, or no power tech um so i transferred that character to a different server in general like the um west coast one so i wanted to make a new one and make it a mercenary but Outside, i'm finishing up rest, this one and then shelter, i'll probably go back to like uh, my sith assassin that i'm currently working on too thanks but trespassing comes with a job one outsider has already been taken by the Gormak. It's today. always difficult trying to figure out what you want to play. I definitely Doesn't hear like that. You get a lot of traffic out here. We do not. This was unusual. The Gormak attacked. She surrendered. She wasn't looking for a fight. Normally, the enemy knows only murder. The woman was taken towards the Gormak beast pens. Her fate is sealed. Can't wait to see the look on her face when I pull her rear out of the fire. I will point out the place. Be cautious. Um. Hold on one second, chat. I think my girlfriend is here, but she didn't. What? I'm so confused. Okay, hold on for one second. I will be right back. Now I will be right back.
I'm back, chat. Uh, like, probably seven. Would you take me? Hey. Probably. Hmm. I always remember this area is pretty interesting with enemies and stuff. It can sometimes be hard to get by. I wish we were able to make a, uh, a Voss character. I think that would be really neat. Oh, shoot. Is this one of those one? Yeah, I think it's one of the ones where you have to go around this, this way get back there because otherwise it's going to take me right into the mountain here it is and then let's see do we make a right here or do we keep going straight back yeah we make a right almost 47 i was gonna say we're literally at 47. nice What are these enemies? Okay, they're 45. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, just run. Run for it. Uh, go to the right. Okay. Need a. I thought there was a way to. Maybe there's like a keybind thing that you can load from your other character. Um. Quick bar. Cause right now. Let me ask the guild, is there a way to load keybinds from another character? Is there a way to load keybinds from another character? Because right now, so on my other character, I have control 1 through technically 12. Um, bound to my second bar. But by default, control one through six, I think it is. No, through seven is bound to your companion's abilities. So, uh, references. I thought there, was, there used to be like a way that you could load keybinds from somebody else. Keybinds, aha, main keys. Um,. I think this might by load. Ah, oh, there is. Oh.
Nice. So now we can use that. Pretty easy. Like it makes me a lot more effective now too because now i'm not just using one ability uh, or my top bars of abilities i can hit the button and launch it off Uh, are we sprinting already? Yeah, it's... Not sure if we are. Do I have a pet out? Oh, now I do. General... Bounty Hunter, maybe? There it is. Is my is this hunter's boon? There it is. Oh boy, I don't think we're the crowd favorite. Step up and try it. See what happens. Vlatan van Dal, that rat vi ban logro. Guavasca, ban gig na bungham trong wang lao, the chow drokja. Ve kum ni go dan lai, chow fe na chong na tamso. Bring it on. Trouble on the way. They die so easily. <laughs> After fighting that, uh, <laughs> the last enemy, uh, doing that last flashpoint, I feel like all these guys die easily now. To update my stream title. for the final wave 15 seconds uh is there a loot discipline while you're it is primary
I mean, it's probably gonna die before I even get to go through all these abilities. <laughs> You activate the arena force field. Nah, dude, it's not. Unless you have to think before you act. It'd be uh, very interesting if it was. There are like slight. I mean, like overall, no. But. So, I mean, some animals and things like that are, um, Forma, Forma. I don't know what, uh, Forma. Yeah, I don't know if Voss is, is Voss? Cannon. Yeah, I mean, boss, the planet is, it seems like, I think. Yeah, Gormak is a language. So, so there are some, like, there's a good amount of things that are canon. It's just not like everything is. Some things are like in the video games, you know. Um, you don't see them as often as you would in like IRL or whatever, whatever the situation is. Oh wait, yeah, we need to go to the right. Okay. So it all depends on what it is, the plot and all that and majority of the people are not. Majority of the people in the plot are never going to be or not, not currently canon at least. Um, the guy that you play as, typically, I think they're called the, is it the commander, I think, or something like that. Um, you want to be on top, gonna need the, the skills. The outsider. That's what it is. Old timer like me got a lot um, of tricks for sale. Nothing to train. That's weird. It showed, like it was, like there was something to train. Um, typically for like people like that. Please select an available travel route. Since it's such a a broad uh possibility of your outsider character um or your commander it's nearly impossible to make your person canon but there are a lot of alludes to like revan and stuff so i don't know it's so weird when it comes to that stuff Because then you have Darth Bane, who Darth Bane is part of this universe, the the Old Republic. And Darth Bane knew of Revan, which Revan 
is part of the Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, which also takes place in this game, which this game is connected to those. Um, and this was technically going to be like, this game was almost Knights of the Old Republic 3, but then they are like, they wanted to make an MMO, but they wanted to be incorporated with it and everything. So it's, it's very like weird. That's why like, we don't have like a lot of information on like Canon Old Republic other than like, we know that there's wars that happen and we know about the Mandalorians and every, and like everything before the craziness that uh like Darth Darth Vader brought and Sidious and all that. But I think a lot of people do want to know like what happened before. We know what happens after for the most part. Um and I think eventually I I think personally for Star Wars I would love to see you before everything. You know bring back old stuff which is probably why they're bringing like a lot of these older shows um or the a lot of these shows are like placed in the middle of the timeline or um towards the end of the timeline but by another perspective and i think that's really cool um i'm okay with some like sequels to even the the most recent one trilogy but i think that it should be like not it should be years after i guess and like that maybe like alludes to or like mentions to some of like the characters and ray and what she does in the future and like Finn and things like that but i don't think that a sole focus on them unless if it was really 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 good is really what people want or even what i want myself um but if done right or done better i think there's there's potential but i think the safest bet honestly at this rate is just starting fresh starting fresh uh in an older like timeline before everything because that's what people want you know like people people have been saying like give us more give us like now they their big thing is the high republic so will we get something that's the high republic related will we get like that kind of stuff I hope so, honestly. I would like to know what happened after everything in the, the last movie. Um, but the way that kind of turned out, I don't think is the best, the best move right this that second. I think they, sh they should go with something safer and be like okay here is here is years and years and years before everything that you know about the skywalkers like they're not even born yet that type of thing i think that's a lot of a more of a safer bet um and potentially could be really cool too to be honest ever gotten into star wars universe much expect for the movie except for the movies and a few games exactly and that's majority of people to be honest um and there's nothing wrong with that of course like that's totally all right i think that's that's one of the reasons why they should go back to like these older things and tell those stories because like normal people will love that like, oh, it's more Star Wars, paths again, but it's not, but the, not here. the regular Star Wars. Like, old fans and new fans would like that you kind of stuff. Left eye behind, General. I'm so close to getting these people on speaking terms, and you're about to, to throw top. it all away. For what, money? Tell me you're not that petty. Oh, 
think that's centered. Oh, jeez. Not that. <laughs> okay. You're between me and a man spouting lies. Nothing per- I think that's a small sacrifice for peace. Nothing personal. Show him what you're made of. I am also in no way an expert on what people want or don't want. But I'm also kind of like a very, I'm very much where the type of person where they'll find something good no matter what it is. Don't go in front of it right there it is okay Whew. i don't know what happened that was weird my like audio completely cut out there and then um good puppy um yeah that was weird i don't know what happened there like all the audio cut out Wait, and then all of a sudden <laughs> This is a losing battle. Uh, and DI like broke or whatever, but uh, we should be good now, I think. Just check. Testing one, two, one, two. Hello? Can you guys hear me? finally dawned on you that resisting is pointless i had to try now i have to deal it's good this okay. is a pivotal moment in this planet's history i won't let our squabbles get in the way if you'll allow these gormak to return home i'll lay down my weapon you're gonna sacrifice yourself for perfect strangers no i'm going to keep them from sacrificing themselves for something as insignificant as my life Jedi and Sith waged war here centuries ago, both manipulating these people into fighting their battles for them. It's all painted here on these walls. Now, we've come full circle. These people deserve better than to be exploited by galactic politics. Give them a fighting chance. Couldn't care less about the Gormac. You think I'll really make peace? Thank you. Go. Others need to know what we found here. Do what you came to do. With pressure. <laughs> what with pleasure? <laughs> uh I plan to say cheese. I don't need your permission. I had her pegged all wrong. We're done here. Oh. All right. Back to this planet or this area. I love Star Wars stuff though. Dev, it's it's great. It's also great. It's also good. It's okay. I'm getting nervous cuz like I'm seeing like my stream freeze or something. Especially listening to like the Bane book recently. That's made me want to go back to this game. I've captured General Redrish. I really need to make another I force user sometime. You left the trials. I thought you'd got the best of you. 
I suppose no news is good news in this case. If you'd raised any suspicion, Cap, whatever General Redbush's plans were, it seemed... Chasing her was like running through a minefield. Debating her wasn't much different, but arguably less deadly. This is the most relieved I've felt in months. One sec, Take this with my gratitude. It'll complement the sum of credits Darth Tormund sent quite nicely. Your gratitude is appreciated, Ambassador. I'll send word of your success to Darth Tormund promptly. And that's exactly how I feel too, Dev. Um, that's exactly like identical to to my feelings with M M M M M M's, MMOs. <laughs> um, I personally see like personally, I need something that right that draws me in like heavily for an MMO. And Star Wars has been like one of the the only ones. Especially Star Wars the Old, the Old Republic has been one of the only ones that ever was able to drag me in for multiple characters and reaching max level, doing endgame, doing expansions because the story and the characters and honestly probably even the universe is the reason. Um, back in the day, like City of Heroes and City of Villains was one of my favorite games today like obviously neither of those are around and also like the um star wars galaxies was one of my favorite games back then too but again i mean that's still around but it's so outdated um it's just the the bioware storytelling for these games personally i think is one of the best and if there was more MMOs like this story-wise, where you had choices or for the gameplay, the universe, the woman. I would love that. But I just don't think we're at that point yet. Enjoy Destiny, but can't really play without my buddy. Yeah. Lieutenant Horn and the Ambassador were a great help. Destiny Noted. is also more of like the campaign a. Campaign on Raban is coming to a close. Um, I will direct my forces towards a full-scale assault on. I see Raban. Destiny as a first, like a, a just a shooter with multiplayer aspects. Multiplayer aspects, even though technically it is. Travel to Tyrant. Oh, the tyrant. I do love checking out new MMOs, though. I am Captain Evelyn, commanding officer of the tyrant. You are Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? Darth Tormund instructed me to rendezvous with a tyrant here. Good, pay attention, we don't have much time. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun oh. the command decks. Why are you barking? It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. <laughs> Darth Torment I totally get himself. that too. He went to deal with the attackers personally, but his soldier boarders initiated with their overrides to say. I won't let you down. If I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can open the dock. Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo laser. We're in for a rough business as usual then. <sighs> Figures I'd have a big. Huh? Um. Forget what I was about to say. I think my favorite thing about like just MMOs in general is because like they they always set up such a, a cool living world. Like I love playing co-op with people. Um, I, I love being able to run around on a planet or area and seeing like other or other people running around too. Um, like the division handles that really well. Uh, like running into 
group missions, like when it actually does it well. Um, open world and multiplayer are like some of my favorite things. I don't know why, but I just love that. It's so cool to me running around seeing other people, whether you're doing content with them or not. Um, I just always really, really like the the world building of that and like the um, the setup for that kind of stuff. So. Oh, she has it, so. What games like Sea of Thieves and Star Citizen? Also, urban. Any type of like urban like setting. I love that kind of stuff too. Like when it's in a city. Um. I think one of the things with like see if these personally it's like hard to play that game unless if you have like a group of friends that actually play it um you, of course you can play by yourself but you accomplish so much more when you are in a group it is a really neat game though i just don't like i don't know based with all the other games out there i love playing like other games <laughs> too I think that's where like MMOs, like because the, they're so well with like setting up world building and things like that, seeing other players, like when you don't have that, I think that's why I like RPGs so much as I do, because those are, you have relationships with other characters in the game, you become friends with other characters, like you're the player that you are um like you have a, a better connection with them whether it has dialogue choices or not of course I, I love games that have dialogue choices but even when it doesn't like there's a, so many games out there that do a good job at setting it up and being like hey here's your friend this is the story this is the plot here's what's going on here's why you should care about this person and here's why you shouldn't like this bad guy hi i want a non-explosive game that i can get immersed in or non-expensive game, <laughs> not explosive. <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. Honestly, that's why like RPGs and stuff are, are great for that because they don't require that, you know, that daily commitment. There's so many MMOs out there and I completely, that's another reason why it's so hard to get into MMOs is there's so many of them that, that honestly don't feel like they they appreciate your time. They want to sink you in for hours upon hours upon hours. And that's fine. But like in a case where Star Wars, if you just want to play the main story of a character and then play the, the extra content uh, expansions and stuff, you can do that. But um, for something like Black Desert, like I've gone back to Black Desert online multiple times and that game is just like a bunch of fetch quests like i could care less about the story there is a story but it's like it's not really super engaging um same thing with even final fantasy final fantasy can be tons of fun gameplay wise but if i don't there's so many times where like the story kind of just drags on and it's like you're skipping every line and and things like that and it's like well if i don't really care about what i'm doing in my opinion my mind goes why am i even doing this even though it's fun like i don't know and also for me though i find like star wars like fun basic 
but also fun. Um, all these abilities and other stuff I think is really cool at times. And I'm used to like this type of MMO or like RPG game. Where you like press some buttons to activate some abilities. But then the, the thing that I love is it's an this is a living world and even during something as little like this as like running this mission we're gonna get to a point where we get to choose do you want to kill the person do you want to capture them like there's so many different outcomes there's so many different classes too thanks for the rescue once they killed the captain, we thought I really hope one day we do get like another game similar to this, um, a fresh MMO that is like maybe Star Wars The Old Republic 2 or even just like another Star Wars Galaxies. That would be sick, in my opinion. I've restored control of the bridge. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown. But Doesn't have to be. Have to hold off another yeah. Attack. Will you assist I in think... defending the bridge? Anyone stepping through that door gets blasted back out. Get those lower decks unsealed. I think that's kind of what a lot of people want more of. Maybe I'll attack. I mean, it's still okay to get those games where, like, you're the main character, like, everything ro revolves around you. But I also feel like a lot of people do like those games where you're just another person in the universe and you start out as, like, being just a person but then your character develops throughout the game and you become like not a not the sole focus of the entire like, universe but you're just like you become a bigger part of it you know i think that stuff is great when you can be just another just another person Maybe you don't want to be that the uh, sole focus of everything that happens. You know, you're just a guy living in the world, dealing with things around you. So I don't, don't like Skyrim Dragonborn. Nah, I get that. Because in that type of game, you are... Like, I think that's one of the reasons why, like, Fallout does so well at times. Like, Skyrim... I mean, I don't know. You could feel the same way about Fallout. But, like, in... Like, Skyrim, yeah, you're the dragon board. But, like, the Fallout games, you're just another guy. Kind of, like, trying to live in the apocalypse. Besides, like, four. Like, New Vegas. You're a guy that gets messed up or uh screwed over so you go back and like screw everyone else over my, my lord it's a relief to see you unscathed where is captain evelyn i he the, the captain's dead sir my lord and sir, yet my you lord. avoided his fate yes i, I mean no we were so I'm not sleeping at night. I have you to thank for a ship. You wanted to discuss Corellia. Have this ship operational by the Ever time play Fallout finished. doesn't look too interesting gameplay-wise. <sighs> yeah. The rebellion will be crushed. I get that. Corellia will fall, but military victory it, will not It's be a little enough. rough at times. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. And a corpse can't grovel. I get it. The gameplay is definitely want. rough at there times. There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the rebellion bows before Corellia, I can't wait to one day go back and, will be set. and play, uh, you know, like uh, New Vegas and Fallout 3 again. What happens once this trap is sprung? A compact will be signed publicly. 
I just don't know when I will. will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. Uh. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule, but not before June Saros convinces him that See, my, Jedi can turn the tide. My big thing is I've played all the Fallout games, but I've played them on console. Playing those games on PC is a like almost night and day experience. Not only because of the load times, but just because of how much better, like, those games tend to run. Um, I remember playing Skyrim back in the day with, like, one to two minute load times every time you enter a new area. On every but on PC, war, it's like 15 seconds, if that. I have sent my forces ahead under command of General Crow. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you. So like when I played all those games, I played them literally um, with the game taking forever to load. But then also like with a controller when you play them on mouse and keyboard and the and the world and everything loads so much faster it's like a night and day experience so like those types of games that's why I like that that type of game and other ones that I don't mind to replay someday because it's so much different than when I originally played it um I love that kind of stuff. Never that issue with Skyrim. Some of it, I don't know what it's like today, but I remember how how long some loading screens were. It was raw at times, like so bad. But it is a lot better now. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try to get to a. Do we have a, let's see, is there a cantina? There is. Chat, I think I'm gonna have to call it um, here, even though chat, Dev, you're technically all of chat <laughs> right now. Um, you need to get a concept of just one game of a franchise. You won't find a better bargain. Come but back yeah. Anytime. Um, Let's chat with Mako real quick. <laughs> I always forget what my guy looks Isaac, like. The one we were supposed to stop on Drum and Koss. Target didn't show up. Hard to forget that. Everything else <laughs> I appreciate sort of dead you, Dev. I thought maybe I'd try to see what I could find on him. He's SIS, except... You got any idea what the... I don't know yet. Searching for his name tripped all kinds of security, so... It, I think I might take up a new hobby for a while. Nexu grooming. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is a, a perfect spot to stop right now. Um, so tomorrow, cool thing is I'm actually off tomorrow. So um, because of that, I might be able to play. Um, I might play some uh, more of this. See if we can finish finish this out. Yeah, I'm 